Okay. Hi everyone. This is something that I would never usually do. Um, I feel really out of my comfort zone doing this or even speaking about my health on a platform like Instagram. But I feel like I have to because of my circumstances and I kind of feel like I have to explain everything to everyone so people understand why, you know, this GoFundMe thing is happening again for the second time, which I don't really want to happen because I feel bad asking people for anything really. Um, but basically I just need to explain my health and what's been going on so people understand. Um, basically I've been really, really unwell for seven years now. Seven years of chronic, chronic pain, like debilitating pain. So I'll try to make it short, but I don't really know how I can make the seven years of my life that I've been in really, really bad pain um, short, but I'll try my best. Anyway, so when I was basically 20 years old, I got very, very sick and I had to stop, you know, living my life. So from the time I was 20, I was living a normal life, having fun with my friends, going out every weekend, just doing what normal 20 year olds do. And then I got like very, very sick. I won't go into it too much. It was from using pharmaceutical drugs, like a topical steroid cream for my eczema. I was using that my whole life for my eczema. Then I had severe eczema from the cream, but I didn't realize it was from the cream. I just thought I had eczema. Basically my eczema got so, so bad that I was itchy all the time. My skin was burning. It was, I was allergic to everything. I was always like going to dermatologists and doctors and everything like that. And then when I was 20, I found out that you can actually get addicted to the cream, which mimics eczema and your symptoms are from the cream. Um, it's called topical steroid addiction. And I was going through that basically my whole life. Um, I won't go too much into that because the story is very long. So when I turned 20, I found out I went off the cream thinking, you know, I'll be fine. I'll just, I won't wear makeup for a week. I'll be fine. I went into full on withdrawals from that and I lived in the bath for two whole years. My skin went crazy. I had red skin, eczema, burning. I lost nearly all my hair, my eyebrows. Um, it was really, really horrible, but it was so long ago I almost don't remember it that much and it wasn't as bad as what happened later. So when I went through that, um, I started to get horrible, horrible migraines and like brain zap things and like almost felt like a little seizure would happen to me um, and it was really bad but I just thought it was the steroid withdrawal that I was going through and my doctor thought it was the same and then the headaches got so bad that I basically lived with a headache for about a year straight all the time and then I finally found out when I was 20, just turned 21 after I had a brain scan that I had a brain cyst, a pineal brain cyst so I was happy about that because I thought at least it makes sense to why I'm getting the headaches. So fast forward, when I just turned 21, I had a big brain surgery in Sydney with um, a surgeon called Charlie Teo. So after my brain surgery, sorry, before my brain surgery, I thought this will help me. I'll get really healthy afterwards and I'll finally get better. My skin was getting a bit better, but it was still pretty bad. But I was pretty sick, but I was getting a little bit better But um, with my skin. So I had the brain surgery and after my brain surgery, pretty much straight after, I developed all these new symptoms and problems and health problems and pain and stuff which developed slowly but it kept getting worse over the last five, six years which is how long ago I had the surgery. So I had the surgery and then after I got permanent double vision which I can deal with because it's only when I move my head um, and then the main thing that happened to me was my mouth, inside my mouth started to really really burn um, and I didn't know what was going on. I was put on a lot of like medication and drugs and antibiotics after the surgery, which every time I take a drug, I'll get a big reaction to. So I think that's what made my mouth burn. But I was always trying to find answers as to why my mouth was burning or anything, but I could never get an answer from any doctors or anything like that. So basically the burning that started in my mouth six years ago started to spread through my face and the top of my brain and it went through my body and I got really dizzy all the time and I just developed all these new symptoms that I never thought would happen to me and it was way worse than even before the brain surgery. Um, I dealt with them for a long period of time and took medication to suppress them and the medication worked for a short time but then 
long term the medication caused all the symptoms and all the burning and the neuropathic pain to just get worse and worse and um it got so bad that when I was living overseas I had to take so much medication to to mask the symptoms because I literally felt like my nerves and my mouth and my body was completely on fire. Um, it sounds bad, but it wasn't as bad then as it is now. But yeah, I was taking medication to suppress it. And then when I got home from Bali, I took some antibiotics that I was prescribed to take from my doctor. Um, and after I took those antibiotics, which was almost two years ago now, I had a huge reaction to them, like the biggest reaction I've ever had in my life. And I remember just being outside one day and my hands started to feel like they had been dipped in like hot acid and then it spread it was already on my body but not this bad it spread to my whole body my feet everything just so much worse and that was almost two years ago now and since then I've permanently been like completely on fire like every part of my body is completely on fire and it never ever ever goes away and I've dealt with it and I've worked and I've tried my best but every year I take about three months off work because I'm just in so much pain. Fast forward to about a year and a half ago I developed and I think it was just from my nervous system being so sensitive from the burning from the surgery everything I've never been able to put it all together I just think it's from my surgery and all the medication I've had I've had reactions to because I'm very sensitive but um the pain basically spread it wasn't the burning anymore the burning stayed the burning I could deal with it was horrible but the pain I started to get was in my chest and it started to get really bad when I was working as a hairdresser and it was felt like basically I was being crushed every time I would lift my arms up um, and do hair and it was so hard to get through the day this started yeah a year and a half ago and every time I finished work hairdressing I would come home and just cry and have to sit in the shower for ages and go to bed with ice packs on me and at all that time I was getting migraines as well and headaches and yeah it was bad but it was still I could still deal with it and I could still try to manage as best as I could and live my life but the pain has spread over the last you know year and a half throughout my whole upper body both of my arms my fingers my neck my ears my face my brain everything it's just gotten so bad and then in November last year it got so bad where it felt like I was being crushed and strangled all the time I had to stop working again in December and I spent about two months in bed trying to do things but it's very very hard it's just getting harder and then I noticed for the first time in December when I was walking I couldn't like I almost couldn't breathe because the part the strangling and the crushing feeling was getting so bad and I just remember the pain was all in my spine in my body and it just was getting so terrible um and then yeah it's just been getting worse and it spread into my face and my brain and again and the burning has gotten so much worse and the headaches have gotten so much worse and it's in my mouth it's in my teeth it's in my spine it started going through my legs most nights now pretty much every night um i'm in bed for the past three to four months and I literally feel like something is crushing my whole body I feel like there's like cement just crushing me and it does not go away talking now hurts like all through here talking hurts pressing it hurts I've had to fully stop working I can't go for long walks anymore some days I can't really walk at all because of the pain some days I can um I'm always going to appointments in Melbourne, Geelong, everything, trying to get to the bottom of it and I see the best people but no one can help me and it's just getting worse. Everything I'm doing is making it worse. Um, I can't really sit down for long anymore. I have to lay down in the car. It's gotten so bad. Um, my mum just does everything for me. She helps me with everything and um, she's had to take me everywhere and she has to come into my room every night and help me because the pain is just getting completely out of control. I my whole body in a like in even one hour experiences about maybe 100 different symptoms of burning crushing zaps um itching just it's just horrible like it's something you could never even imagine happening to anyone and I can't even explain it and I've dealt with chronic pain 
for seven years, but it has just gotten so bad. I don't, I can't really do anything. And it's so hard for people to understand when you look so normal on the outside, but in the inside, you're in 10 out of 10 pain every day. Um, and it never goes away. And it's just getting worse and worse every week and every day. And for years, I've been trying to get to the bottom of what's wrong with me and what's going on. I knew my brain surgery gave me a sensitive nervous system. I knew I had neurological issues after it, but I didn't know why. And I didn't know why every time I would take any type of medication, whether that's, whether that's an antibiotic or a painkiller or anything at all, even even vitamins now. Like, And I know it sounds crazy, but this is my reality. Every time I took something, I didn't know why I would get such a huge reaction to it. Like if I took some antibiotics that would make my whole body feel on fire and then instead of it being a day of that, it was permanent. Every time I've done something, it's been a permanent reaction and I just, yeah, but I don't even remember what I was going to say, but yeah, I didn't understand what was going on. I just knew I was sensitive and yeah, I'm constantly trying to get answers until about a week ago, my mum told me about this place in America that she found. She actually found it a few years ago, I think, but she forgot to tell me. Um, but she found it and it's called Sparrow Clinic and it's in America and I watched this video on my condition which I've never heard of before and it's called Chronic Regional Pain Syndrome CRPS and basically it explained everything I feel, everything I'm going through it says you're on fire all the time, you feel like you're burning, you're being crushed the crushing thing started about a year ago and it's just getting worse and basically it starts after either an injury or a surgery or some people eat something even smaller and it just over time spreads throughout your whole body and in your nervous system and you get neurological issues and everything like that. It doesn't happen to everyone, it's very rare, um, but it happens to people and it can start from like a break in your foot and then the foot might not heal and you'll get that pain in your foot or someone will get their arm amputated or something like that and then they'll have pain there, but it will usually spread all through your body. So it makes complete sense to me what's happened to me and why it's happened to me. And finally, after literally six years after my surgery, I have an answer as to what's going on and why I'm in this much pain and why it's getting so much worse. It's gotten to the point now, though, where I can't live any, any type of day or anything or moment or anything without, like, chronic debilitating pain where it makes you just unable to do anything without pain and I've been trying to live my life for so many years now in this pain and most people don't know but it's hard trying to live with a condition like this and it's gotten so bad where I can't work I don't do anything I don't really see people because the pain is just so bad I have to just be in bed most of the time with like an ice pack or a heat pack on me or just you know, so yeah, basically, I don't even want to upload this, but I feel like I have to upload this because my friends have put together like a GoFundMe or something like that, so I can try to get up there because it's really expensive, and the people that go there have great results, they have 19 people that work there, 19 specialists that completely have studied the whole nervous system and neurological system, and they completely... Um, fix people's issues and they give them back normal life completely and I think that it's probably like my only hope to get better finally and they don't have any other any clinics like this in, in Australia or anywhere else this condition's not recognized people don't know what it is or doesn't have any attention to it I didn't even know I had it I just thought I was permanently sick and getting worse and worse and there was no reason and Everyone was tell is telling me, you'll get better, don't worry, but I'm getting so much worse that even talking now is hurting my whole body. Moving my mouth hurts my whole chest. I feel like there's something strapped around me, strangling me. I feel like sometimes my chest is being stabbed so hard with a knife that it's going through my back. Um, it's even spread inside my both of my ears and everything I do to try to help the pain is now making the pain worse so there's nothing I can really do um, I know if I went up there I would probably get fixed for the first time in seven years and I could live a normal life again um, but yeah basically I just wanted to put this video up I don't even know if I'll put it up 
um, but just to explain to people what's going on and why this is a thing again. The GoFundMe is a thing after the brain surgery one. I didn't ever want to do one again, but I feel like it's my only option really so I can get better. So yeah, I just wanted to explain myself and put a video up here and yeah, so thank you.